host here and my name is Dr. Koskas and um, in this video I'm going to introduce tools and uh, ideas uh, for our class this semester. We continue our introduction into the semester and um, just to summarize a couple of things we in pre-calculus class my name is Dr. Kostrov but most students call me Dr. Jean and my email is over here Kostrov y at angel.edu don't hesitate to email me and um, where do we start we start at a blackboard site so if you log in into the blackboard and find our course here let me find it uh, here it is all right so if you go to the first page there are no announcements yet but if you click on the syllabus you see two things over here under the syllabus section one is a zoom link for all of our online meetings we're going to use zoom and also syllabus over here so for zoom you click on this link and it opens up the zoom application on your computer and if you click on the syllabus it will load the syllabus so we are pre-calculus course our meeting times from 1 to 2 20 p.m on tuesday and friday and on wednesday from 10 to 10 50 using the zoom application so a couple of learning outcomes are written over here and our course is a hundred percent online course so we don't meet at the university we meet online three times per week on monday i'm oh, sorry not monday but tuesday friday and wednesday but a different time on tuesday friday one more time from 1 to 2 20 on wednesday from 10 to 10 50. all right so what kind of technology we're going to use we're going to use internet for uh, our meetings we're going to use pdf viewer and uh, blackboard site we don't use much in the department of mathematics we usually use moodle for our class management and in a second i'll talk a little bit more about how to log in into the moodle so book book is a pre-calculus book by abramson it's a free book you can download it by clicking this link it um, brings you to the site and here is the uh, download button uh, so you can download it or you can order a print copy for but they will charge you for this but it's free if you download the pdf version uh, and if you click here you can order uh, the book um, in a published version then there is a link for moodle we'll come back to it in a little bit first let's go through the syllabus and then go back to moodle office hours every tuesday and friday from 9 to 10 but again um, if you don't really like this time or if you need additional meeting you can request it by e emailing to me or just talking to me in class online class obviously there is a, um, a description from the catalog there is a link for the homework which is uh, another website web work unfortunately you have to use a lot of website but it, you can see that all of the links are over here in the syllabus and syllabus itself is located on blackboard so you don't really need to memorize any of this you can just always go to the syllabus and click on this two links you just have to remember to do the homework and go to the moodle for a lot of information that we'll discuss in a second so technology for this course uh, web work a simple calculator we don't we're not going to use graphing calculators pdf reader for the lecture notes that will be published online and zoom for our online meetings so we will have three midterm exams the approximate dates are over here and one final which is on uh, wednesday may 12th that's uh, the last week of the semester what is the grading policy the grading policy is the following 10 percent for the homework which will be hosted by web work here 
five percent for the quizzes on Moodle, we'll discuss it in a little bit, five percent for the online participation, how you attend, how you uh, speak up in class, and three midterms, 15 percent each, and 35 percent for the final, because it's a cumulative final, so it's worth a little bit more than the actual test in the, sem in the middle of the semester. Some etiquette for the online behavior and uh, <coughs> read it up. So you have to read the syllabus because this is our contract. What else do we need to discuss? How the web work and Moodle are organized. So let's start with the Moodle first. So you click on this link in Moodle and uh, actually it will bring you to this page uh, for the login page. What would be your username and password? Your username and password initially set up to be the following. Um, it's gonna be your first part of the email before the add symbol. So it's everything before the add symbol. So this would be your username and password to initially set up to log in into the Moodle. So basically you have, to, I would have to type cost of Y for my username and cost of Y for the password. And my suggestion not to copy and paste, but type it in both places. But since I already logged in, Moodle forced me to change my password. And Moodle will force you also to change your password. And Moodle is really picky on how to pick, uh, how to choose your password. So read all of the instructions that Moodle provides to you. So you will not see these extra courses that I see because I'm a teacher, I see a little bit more. But this course, Math 1012 Pre-Calculus YK that Eugenie Kostrov uh, assigned to you. So far, we don't have much on this Moodle uh, website. We have a book, again, the link to the book, the link for the web work. If you forgot the link for the web work, you can click it here. And another set of syllabus um to download and as you can see moodle is split up into the weekly modules so this is the first week of classes over here as soon as our class is over i will publish our notes on this website and then you can read these notes from this website they're going to be published in pdf format also i'll publish some helpful links some announcements for the test some sample tests will be published on this moodle website all right, so far there is not much. Also, at the end of the first week, when we're done with it, there will be short quiz for the material of this week. After you do the homework, you will have to do this quiz. And that's how our work will be organized in Moodle. There will be a set of notes from our classes, and at the end of each week, there will be a quiz with infinite amount of submissions and tries which you have to complete to see how you comprehend the material. Now, web work. So if you either click from here, it brings you to the web work, or if you go back to the syllabus, it will also bring uh, you to the web work. If you click this link, it brings you also to the web work. The username is set up the same way as for the, um, as for the Moodle. The only, the only thing that I have to mention is that Moodle and WebWorks are two different entities, two different things. So whatever you set up in Moodle will not work in uh, <coughs> WebWork and vice versa. So they're two different things. So I would have to type cost of, uh, cost of Y for my username and cost of Y for my password, but again, my password being changed after I log in, so it's not going to be what I typed, but it, uh, it's a little bit different now. So you log in into the um, you log in into the web work, and uh, you will not see this thing because they're not really assigned to you. But when you log in into the web work you uh, will see the first homework that will be published by the end of this week 
All right, what else do I need to say? Um, I don't know probably that's what I wanted to say if you struggle with anything let me know otherwise I'll see you on Tuesday February 2nd and try to log in into the both web work and Moodle and see if it works out for you or not all right so I'll see you soon.